Hey everybody, I am back in my classroom. I just got out of a technology training and mom and I got a lot of stuff done last night, but I didn't have my camera with me. I had left it at home, and but we were on a roll, so I wasn't gonna stop and go get it. Um, so I did some Instagram stories though instead, just a little bit, but I wanna show you what we got done. So here we go. This desk, it's cluttery right now, but I decided to cluster my lights right above where my desks are gonna go. And then look at this, guys. This is cardboard covering my little wire electrical drop downs. And um, we just painted it with gunmetal gray craft paint. Looks so cool. I love it. And um, I already had a brown extension cord that was the perfect length for the lights, so that worked out. I was afraid I was gonna have to buy one. I'm using those uh, squeeze clips. They are amazing. I highly recommend them. I will link them down in the description box because if you have this kind of ceiling and you love to hang stuff, they're awesome. I, it's so easy. And then over here, we hung my gold streamers because that corner was just big and blank and I didn't have anything to put on it yet. So that's where my keyboard's going to go. And I might put that um, ornament garland up at the top and this could double as a photo booth area on Meet the Teacher Night. So I need to get me some cute props. I have this up here, but I have black border. That's why I started putting black. So I'll probably just do black because I really don't want to go buy more borders. Um, plus black can tie in with that, those letters and the black that's behind there. And, you know, just a few other black things in the room. Um, but I think I'm going to raise this up once the border's on there to make it like two swags. Because it looked really cute when I did that. Plus it would give me more room to actually hang stuff. Um, today I need to get this bulletin board finished. I've got to figure out exactly what I want up there. I need to hot glue the cork board back. So yes, I definitely need to do that. I need to put these back. I moved them out of my way while I did the borders. Um, but I really, I guess I don't have to do that until I finish the border, but I want to get some more thumbtacks, either gold or silver to put on the black before I do that. But I started f putting the math books that we got. We got our new math curriculum in or the like refills for the consumable books. So I started putting them in there and they fit, which is good because I had forgotten that I was going to have math books. So that's what these piles over here are. So I will finish putting volume one in their bins and then I'll find a place in the lockers for volume two. Let's see, what else did we do? Oh, I got these. The other first grade teacher, she made a trip to Ikea at the beginning of um, the summer or something. Not the beginning of the summer, but like beginning of August. And she had asked if there was anything she could pick up for me. And so I was like, oh, yes, yeah, see if they have some of these. And so I'm really excited. I think I have 11 of them. And what else did we do? I kind of tidied up a little. I don't know if it looks like it, but... I'm about to vacuum because I don't know why, but it drives me nuts whenever there's stuff all over the carpet. And most of this is from our new sound system. They came and put new speakers, and um, it's really neat. Our principal will be able to use her phone to, like, page us instead of having to go all the way down to the room where the old, like, microphone is and use the old speaker. So that's really neat so from anywhere she can contact anybody quickly so it's very good way more safe um, let's see oh I did figure out yesterday where I want to hang this I think I mean unless I think of somewhere better it would be really cute to just hang right here and it's like the perfect length to go across there and if I want to I can always hang some other colorful stuff on it like yarn or tassels or something like that but that's where that's going to go for now when I get a clock I'll probably put it up there I finished hanging the birthday things the months for the birthdays I've still got to do something pretty with that ribbon I don't like that hanging down I'll probably just cut it 
what else? I unboxed my toaster. <laughs> Nobody has said I couldn't have it, so um, it looks really cute on this too. Let me think. Oh, I did discover, I didn't realize, I thought all of my phonics boxes were empty, but the bottom one does have all of the folders for filing the worksheets in, so it makes me feel better. Um, I'm either going to hide the boxes once they're filled, I'm either going to hide them under this table or I'm going to actually file them in my nice like wooden filing cabinet instead of the boxes that they come in. Um, but I haven't decided yet. For now, I'm definitely going to file them in the boxes they come in because that's not a top priority to make something like that look cute at this moment. <laughs> but really, you know, the room's not bad. There's just the last few clutter things I need to figure out. You know, there's some boxes like this that I need to go through and make sure, like, the stuff that I want, I'm going to keep it. And some stuff I may bring home. Um, we went and got fabric yesterday, Mom and I, and she's at home now working on curtains for me for under here. And so what we got was this kind of fabric. And we got it in silver because I didn't want it too dark. I didn't want to use one of the same colors on the tent because I didn't want it to take away from the tent. Um, but I have some little silver accents throughout the room, so I think that that will look cute. Plus, that kind of fabric is great because it doesn't crease or wrinkle easily. It, it hangs really beautifully, and it will slide across my extension rods really well, and it's really not expensive fabric. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's cheaper than, you know, any of the other fabrics that are in here. So that worked out perfectly. I want to show you, oh yeah, I guess my husband fixed my chair. I knew he was messing with it, but I didn't know it was fixed, but it, it stays down now. So I love it. It might be, a, I'll have to see if it's too low. It felt comfortable, I think the other day. I wasn't really paying attention, but that's nice. I should be getting my other desk that'll go right here the day after meet the teacher or two days after I meet the teacher, so this Saturday. And, oh yeah, I wanna show you what it looks like with the lights off. <laughs> oh, I also got this hung. I don't remember if I showed that in the video yet. And I went ahead and put the title. I've gotta look up um, the first sight words that are in our curriculum, and I'll just start out with like three or four of those. But let me show you. Look, this is so cool. I was afraid with the windows un unblocked during the day, it might would take away from it, but it doesn't. It's still, um, it's, they still show up really well. And I think they still will after I uncover these, which I could go ahead and do. It's close enough now. <sighs> I just, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm so glad it's turned out. Um, I mean, one of the very first things I knew I wanted in my classroom was a brick wall. I feel like it's so homey and cozy. It just like completely sets the tone for a cozy atmosphere. Like it's just, um, and I, it's because of better than paper. Cause I would probably not have hung paper up there cause it would probably rip and stuff, but this is so durable. So I think it's just gonna last a long time and I love it. I'm so glad it's working out. It hasn't been bubbling or anything. Um, so I have a lamp right there. I've got to organize this figure out exactly how I want it set up. I have some baskets at home that I'm going to put my read alouds in. So I need to go home at lunch and get baskets. I've got to get the garland for that. I've got to get command hooks to hang the thing above the door. Hmm. And I'll probably have another night up here. I need to finish my class job chart. I'm almost done. And then I need to print it off and hang it up here somewhere. I'm having trouble figuring out where to hang stuff up there. I've got to uh, purchase and download my number line and print it out and put it down here. I really need to do that tonight. And these are like extras. So they just, I just need to find room in my cabinet or under here, which there's plenty of room under here. Um, this is something that if I don't use it, I'm taking it home. You know, I just have a lot of stuff like that. That's just like a, I just got to decide. It's getting closer to lunchtime. So 
So I don't know what I'll get done before then, but I'm just, oh, I need a vacuum. That's what I was going to do. Okay. Going to go find the vacuum. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm getting excited. Um, just, you know, in our meetings talking about how to input grades and all this stuff. It's just like, oh, it's just helping it feel more real. I hope I get everything done on time. So we have to have weekly lesson plans turned in on Monday mornings at eight o'clock for the whole week. And then uh, we will be doing progress reports. So I have to have a certain amount of grades, you know, before then. So there's, it's a lot of stuff that I know will become so routine and I will, you know, get used to it. But right now just, my brain is like, I hope I remember it all. But I, I haven't had a chance to just like sit down and write it all in one place yet, which would help a lot. All right, let me go grab that vacuum. All right, I just got done vacuuming. It looks like 1,000 times better just by doing that. And I'm going to go get something to eat and get those things that I need. Look at that, it looks so much better. All right, my mom has been here, but she um, went home after we went to go um, pick up a few more things. I wanted to find some more stools. But she brought the fabric for the curtains. And I had to go buy another extension rod. So, um, why do I call them extension rods? Tension rods. And um, so I bought one more to put here. So, that looks so nice. Whoa, somebody just rode by on a, like, weird looking scooter thingy. Um, so I, I've got to get busy guys. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm near done. And so it makes me excited. So I'm going to hang that last curtain and then get busy. And I'm worried because I don't know where my camera charger is and my battery light is blinking. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Okay. I found it. That makes me feel better. I was so afraid I was going to have another night of working without vlogging um, but I just got a couple of things while I was looking for stuff at the family dollar um, I got this battery powered lantern it ended up being like 250 because it was 50% off cute and then another one that ended up being 150 so those are really sweet and these are just for fun I thought that we could play some sort of a fun game. So I got this one. And this one. And these were at the family dollar. And I also got two more gray stools because they can go around my small group table. And I can raise the table up a little. So I'll have to see if I can get Dakota. Well, actually, I could probably do that. I think I have a screwdriver here that will work. So I can do that once it's cleaned off because I th it might work for the first graders. I may test it out the first day and then if I need to raise it, I'll raise it the next day. All right, I'm going to charge my battery and get some stuff done and uh, make sure I don't. All right, I'm going to charge my battery and get some stuff done, but I'm going to give you a nice overview. This is stuff that like needs to go home, but I'm just leaving it here until the last minute in case I decide I need some paper. Same thing with those borders. This is all the phonic stuff. I'll bring my keyboard tomorrow. And I still have tomorrow night to work and part probably some of the time Thursday morning. So today's Tuesday. So I have tomorrow after meetings and stuff. And then hopefully sometime Thursday morning or right before meet the teacher. Cause Thursday meet the teacher is from four to six. So it's not like it's at night. <laughs>
the black with the gold push pins. Um, <laughs> I knew I didn't need to buy more because, well, yeah, I knew I didn't need to buy more black because I had a roll in a box. Well, I got the roll out and it is one that is like pretty smashed up and torn and in some places you can see a lot of the white. And so this piece was the one that got all smashed by the stapler and it's just, I don't know, I'll just get another roll tomorrow. They're like $3 and that will finish that up. But I really like it. I think it's really cool and if I want to, I could divide it down the middle. I'm just not sure if I'm going to. I finished gluing the orange border over here. Um, except for the middle piece, I thought I was done. And then I realized, oh, I forgot the middle piece. Um, <clears throat> and then I made these little pockets with some leftover paper from my student work board. And these are gonna hold like the calendar pieces for the weather and the day of the week. And I'll show you. I don't know I mean I just I needed something to put some color up here so I did this with some leftover poster board from my happy letters and so I'm thinking that these could go right here in this space and hold them so I just found a glue stick and made those really quick so um, that's I was gonna get like library pockets uh, like pocket envelope things library book pockets but you know, I already had this paper, so, uh, and I kept forgetting to get some pockets. <laughs> and I think this space up here could be used for 10 frames to, like, keep track of how many days we've been in school, maybe? Not sure, but that'd be pretty easy. Okay, I have been working a lot, so I just was in a groove and just didn't pick the camera up. But I wanted to take a break because I'm dying to see what is in these two packages that have been, um sitting around. So I'm going to go ahead and open them um, and then I'll show you the progress I've made. Complete with a new to-do list. But it's not really new, it's just stuff that's been in my head, but I just, I'm getting more out onto the board. Uh, a lot of it is, has to do with me printing stuff, so it's not like it's huge projects. Mm. Don't squeal unless it's a big deal. Yay. Um, I want to, you know, read books about, you know, tattletelling and how we shouldn't do it. So I'm really excited about this. This one was recommended to me. Um, so it kind of smells like perfume. Don't squeal unless it's a big deal. A tale of tattletales. It all started when Jessica Tritt trotted up to Miss McNeil's desk. Peter pulled my pigtail. And soon, Rachel took my marker. Frankie called Suki a fat sow. Justin ripped my paper. Emily said, my desk is a pigsty. Can anyone tell me what squealing is? Mrs. McNeil shouted. Oh, I didn't shout it. Can anyone tell me what squealing is? Mrs. Mc McNeil shouted, waving her cowbell. Don't squeal unless it's a big deal helps kids Figure out the difference between big deals that need telling and kid size problems that kids can work out themselves. This will be very, very helpful. And I'm going to put this with the rest of my read alouds. And I need to go get that basket out of the car, actually, because I brought a, a nice basket that I can just keep the read alouds in that I want to do the first week of school or first few weeks of school. Oh, here's another. Okay, so I have all these like. Yay, I'm in first grade books. So I saw this one and I thought this would be perfect for the end of the year. Second grade, here I come. This year we're back for second grade and we're ready to go. DJ Steinberg's bouncy rhymes about big kid books, embarrassing school play tryouts, and new ways to make math fun cover all the excitement of the school year. So um, this would be good to read at the end of first grade or at the beginning of second grade. Oh yay, and the Silly Scents crayons. I'm thinking I'm gonna put these in the VIP caddy. Let's smell them. That is so cool how they can do that. Mmm. Oh, introducing pineapple. My memory card got full, so I had to 
turn it off really quick and empty some old things. Oh, I'm looking tired, guys. All right, so two books and the Silly Sense crayons. Let's see who sent them. Hi, Sarah. Tattling drives me crazy. Last year, I had a very tattly group. I hope this helps your class and prevents some tattletales. Good luck with your first year. Love your videos from Elizabeth. Thank you so much. Yes, um, I can't deal with tattling either. Like, it's just whenever it's just like, I mean, I dealt with it with third graders when I subbed at the end of the year for six weeks. It was insane. So I finally, they learned that I'm not gonna listen to it, that they need to, you know, we talked about talking through the problems and stuff like that. Oh, here's another note. Hi, Sarah, I love your videos and hope your students like this book at the end of the year. Yay, thank you. I, I'm ex so excited about these books. Um, they're so cute. Um, this weekend, if I have time, I really want to just sit and read some of these books, which would actually be really relaxing after all of this work on the classroom. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh, yay. Yes. Have you all seen the video of the lady reading this book and laughing so hard? Um, somebody was telling me about that video, and so I had to look it up, and um, it was funny. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! And he had only and he only had three legs. He was a wonky donkey. <laughs> I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! He only had three legs and one eye. He was a winky wonky donkey. Oh no! <laughs> it took his eye. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! He only had three legs, one eye, and he liked to listen to country music. He was a honky tonky, winky wonky donkey. I'll do one more page. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! He only had three legs, one eye, he liked to listen to country music, and he was quite tall and slim. He was a lanky, Honky tonky, winky wonky donkey. <laughs> so this is cute. I think the first graders are going to like laugh their heads off because you know how they are. So yay, so excited. And oh, here it is. Hi Sarah, have a great school year. God's blessings from Liz. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This would be a fun book to do to get them laughing to kind of help break the ice at the beginning of the year. I love this. Oh, thank you so much, guys. It just, this is, it never gets old. It's like Christmas. It's just so sweet, and it means so much to me, and I'm going to take good care of these books. I promise. All right, it is probably way too late to be in my classroom, especially since I have to be up here in the morning. So I'm going to, before the rest of my memory card gets full, I'm going to walk around and show you what it's looking like now. So, better pick up the trash. Try to keep it clean in here. Seems like I pick up trash every five minutes. All right. So, this was in mom's garage, so it's super dirty. I gotta clean it. Um, yes, we can have toasters. At least, I mean, there's another teacher who was here last year who had a toaster. I feel like this is zoomed in, yeah. Okay. I still have to organize in there. That's on my to-do list, so it's looking unorganized but a lot of these books are the read alouds that are going to be in a basket up front right now this is how I have the tables but I mean they need a little bit of adjusting I think but not much because I, I definitely want this in the center okay I got this table cover out I need to try to see what it looks like covering that I got all of the borders glued. If you have any great ideas for the right, the writing center, let me know. I've got to really think this weekend. Plus, um, I think it'll kind of be determined by, I don't know, once I get in the groove of teaching the lessons. And I've got, that's just stayed up. It hasn't fallen, so that's good. Batteries flashing. 
I hung this up here. I have my sight words board. I've got to put some sight words on it. Be kind. I thought that might be good up here by the door. And I think the social contract will probably go here. So they can see it when they're leaving. And they can see it when they come in the morning. Because they're going to come over here and um, do attendance with their magnet. I have the counting to 120 right here. I'm hoping that my jobs chart will fit here. And it, it should. It's just the size of a regular paper. And then with um, clothespins around it. Here's the little pockets I made, guys. Aren't they cute? I just used that with a leftover scrap. It was actually the paper that I used to have behind this. So, yeah. So, I think the space up here can be for 10 frames to count down um, the days of school. And I better go ahead and turn these off. Okay. I took our... Um, Saxon Phonics flashcards out of their little green box because this matches way better and I just found it in the lounge so it's grungy so I need to clean it but I put them here um, because I'll probably sit on the floor with them when I flash the cards or up in my stool or something. I counted out I think 20 sticks. I think we might start with only 18 students but I got 20. I need to put their numbers on there. Uh, these are just calendar pieces. I'm not sure if this is where they're going to go or if I will make more pockets or something. I've got to figure out what to do with this random number line. I don't really have to have it, but um, I could probably use it somehow. And then, got that here, but I'll probably put it somewhere else until it's time to use it. And then, look at my to-do list. Oh, wow. But it's not huge stuff, you know. And it's not all stuff that absolutely has got to be done before Meet the Teacher. Here is the basket. I went to the car while I charged my battery. And um, it's got all of the books that you guys have given me. And I'm going to read those aloud. And this is my treasure box. Mm -hmm. 